Hello and welcome Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. Welcome to your week ahead taroscopes with me intuitive Renee. We are doing the week of the 22nd to the 28th of May 2023. I have got two decks on the table here in front of me. The Oracle deck that I'm working with this week is the Sacred Forest Oracle by Denise Lin and um, the tarot that I'm working with is the Lunar Soul Tarot. I'm going to shift the tarot just off camera for a bit. I'm going to focus on the Oracle. So water signs, Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. Let's see from the Oracle. What is the energy of the week ahead for you? What is the kind of energies that you're going to be navigating, dealing with, working through this week, week of the 22nd to the 28th of May 2023? Let's have a look and see what is the energy of the week ahead for all our water signs. Okay, let's cut the deck. The theme for your week ahead is Spirit Guardian of Winter and it is telling you to retreat. I love the snow globe and we have this kind of perfect little, you know, retreat happening inside the snow globe where they are safe where they are secure. We've got nice chilly winter weather. And you know, us here in South Africa, we are entering into winter. Um, yeah, it certainly is getting colder and colder wherever we are. Um, and you know, sometimes we, we need permission. We need to know that it's okay to retreat, that it's okay to withdraw into ourselves, to slow down a little bit, to disconnect a little bit, okay? So this week, it is important that you, I'm gonna say to you, less is more. And I know water signs, I know Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces, we don't necessarily like less is more, but this is you needing to acknowledge for yourself that you've probably been through a lot, you've probably been navigating and handling a lot, and you might find yourself in a position at the moment where a little bit of a little bit of time out, <laughs> a little bit of retreat, a little bit of rest, a little bit of reprieve from, from all the chaos is exactly what you need. So don't feel guilty by stopping, slowing down, retreating ever so slightly, just a little bit, so that you can catch your breath. Right, so as we're shuffling the tarot, we're going to see where, what and how this retreat needs to show itself in your life this week. We've got the spirit guardian, spirit guardian of winter. So Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces, 22nd to the 28th of May. Let's have a look. Card number one, we have the Hierophant. Very interesting. I love Hierophant energy. Card number two is the Four of Swords. Card number three, we have the Ace of Discs. And our last card, see if it'll fit, we have the Three of Discs. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, let's put the tarot aside and let's have a look and see. So we've got Spirit Guardian of Winter telling you it's time out time, okay? It's time for you to stop, to slow down, to retreat, to go within and to focus on yourself. To focus on replenishing, rejuvenating, growing, increasing and improving yourself. I love Hierophant energy for you because Hierophant energy is about simple Hierophant is about simple, it's about easy, it's about not overcomplicating. If you look at him, he sits on his little pillar. We have got all the water elements there. He's got the book of knowledge, the book of understanding in his one hand. We have an elephant trunk coming in. And as you know, elephants never forget. Elephants remember everything. We also, and also they are incredibly powerful, but elephants are quite slow. You know, the way that they operate, the way that they work, they're in no hurry. The only time that they're in a hurry is if they're charging. And that's typically the bull elephant that does the charging. But they're normally very calm, serene kind of animals who just, you know, one foot in front of the other and off they go. Then his other, in his other end, in his other head, I will get the words right eventually, <laughs> he has a huge lightning bolt. Now, lightning, if only we could, especially us in South Africa, if we could catch one single lightning bolt, you know, we could power a city for, for a very long time. But it is about catching the the unimaginable but it is also about the power and the the power we've got power happening all over then we have this lady sitting here we've got the day we've got the night we've got the sun and the moon the lunar and the soul the lunar and the soul i'll get it right <laughs> and the lady here she has got a sword in front of her and the sword is like smack bang in the middle and it's the sword of 
truth. So the Hierophant is the card that says to you, we need to not over overcomplicate things. We need to keep things simple. We need to keep things easy. We need to understand the things that are going on. But it's about inward. The fact that she's sort of in this kind of a blue coloring shows me that it's inner, inner reflection. We are turning within as opposed to looking at the, at the world that we live in. So it is about retreating inwards to see the truth without overcomplicating it, okay? That's what this week is. It's about learning. Learning. It's about realizing the understanding, the knowledge, the information that you have, but it's about retreating, retreating within yourself and not putting huge amounts of unnecessary pressure and chaos. The next card we have is the Four of Swords, and again, it is about that stillness. It's about that retreat. It's about the nothingness, because when we look at the Four of Swords, so here he sits. He is, he's got all his swords. You can see that they are in their sheath. They're ready to go. He can pick them up and he can run at a moment's notice, but he's not. He's sitting quietly. He's sitting still. He's relaxing. His eyes are closed. He's just breathing in the moment. He's basically waiting for somebody to trigger the go. And then he's going to get up and he's going to run. Everything is prepped. Everything is ready. But for now, he sits. And that's what you need to be doing, water signs. This week is not a week for drastic action. This week is not a week for go, 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 go. This is a week for time out. For less is more. More time contemplating, more time in meditation, more time resting and waiting for the right moment. Just like here we have in the Ace of Discs. So in the Ace of Discs, let's have a look at the artwork. We have some beautiful flowers that are in bloom. We have some that are about to bloom. And we have this beautiful mandala that is reflected here. The Ace of Discs, if you've ever planted a flower, when you put that seed into the ground, the excitement is there because, oh my gosh, you know that when it flowers, it's going to be beautiful. But you have to wait a long time. And when it gets to the stage of starting to bloom, again, that excitement comes back. But it is also about the patience, the patience of waiting for things to happen, waiting for the right time. And going back to the analogy of planting flowers, if you've ever planted a flower in the winter, it, it's not going to happen. Some flowers need to be planted in the winter, but it's about knowing the right time, okay? And for you, at the moment, this week, 22nd to 28th of May, for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, this is not the week. This is not the week to be jumping into action and initiating and starting. This is a week for less is more. And less is more will lead you to the three of discs. So if we look at the three of discs, here we have three people, each one bringing something different to the table. Each one bringing a different skill set, a different knowledge base, a different understanding to a common goal. Okay, so three of discs is the card of teamwork. It's the card of collaboration and it's the card of coming together for a common goal. If you think about the way a business operates, you have, for example, the owner of the business who oversees the big picture, who has got the big dream of where the business is going and how it's going to get there. And then each of the staff members hold a different function. Each one on their own cannot run or handle the whole business but coming together when each person each person who does a different job when they all work together doing their own jobs collectively suddenly the business succeeds and that's what this card is all about the three of discs is about collaboration teamwork but understanding that each person has their own function to fall their own purpose etc and that is all it takes but let's go back water signs cancer scorpio pisces this is not a week for crazy. This is not a week for busy. This is a week where less is more. Understand your role, understand your function, understand your skill level, and stick to that only. Don't try to do more than is necessary. Understand that this is new beginnings, this is new opportunities, but things will happen in their own time. And all you have to do is wait for that right moment, and then everything will be exactly as it should be but for you this week less is more don't feel like you have to be all things to all people all the time all right i love this message for your water signs and i do hope that you have an amazing week thank you for being with me as always with love and blessings from my heart to yours 
and until we connect again, take care.